My name is Todd Lowry, and I am in a, I'm in a PI in the Institute of Biological Chemistry at Amy Seneca. Um, this is my email address if you'd like to contact me, and you can also learn more about what the lab does at our webpage at lowrylab.ca. So my group is interested in carbohydrates, and in particular the, car the role of carbohydrates in biology. So it's well known that glycans or carbohydrates are important mediators of biology. So the cartoon picture here shows two cells. The surfaces of all cells are coated with carbohydrates, and these carbohydrates then serve as attachment sites for a number of different you know, biological events. So for example, bacteria bind to carbohydrates on your cell, cell surface, and that's how you can become infected. Similarly, viruses can, indeed, uh, the way that many viruses interact with human cells is by binding first to a carbohydrate. There's a number of other functions that these carbohydrates in the cell surface can So my group is interested in trying to understand how glycans mediate biology. And so my group focuses on synthesizing and also evaluating probes that can be used to unravel the function of glycans. And the lab is working on four broad areas. These are all related in a, in a sense to, uh, to uh, microbial disease. A big focus in the lab is on the area of mycobacterial glycans. And so you may have, been, may have heard of one of the most famous mycobacteria that's mycobacterium tuberculosis which causes the disease TB. So we've been, we've been interested in this, this uh, area for a very long time, and a lot of work in the lab is focused on trying to make and understand the role of glycans in mycobacterial diseases, including tuberculosis. We're also interested in carbohydrates from Campylobacter, which is an important foodborne pathogen, and also various viruses, although the viruses that we're interested in are not typically human pathogens. These are more interesting from a, from a fundamental science perspective. We also spend a lot of time trying to make very large glycans, and these are bacterial structures typically, with again the goal to, if we can make these, that we want to understand their, their function. So if you were to join the lab, what would you do? So most of my group uh, focuses on doing chemistry, so we would be involved in doing synthetic chemistry. We also do a lot of recombinant protein expression, so those, those are skills that you could uh, pick up in the lab. The group also focuses a lot on doing NMR spectroscopy and mass spectrometry, and so you have daily experience using this, using these technologies. And then also, of course, you participate in group meetings and give presentations. The lab, uh, as you can tell from, my, from this presentation, I'm not fluent in Chinese, and so the lab actually operates in English, and so this will give you an opportunity to then um, improve your English through, through daily work uh, in the lab. And perhaps most importantly, uh, we. Nothing is worth doing if it can't be fun. And so we, we have a lot of fun in the lab, and we also have fun outside of the lab. And so I'll close this presentation with a couple of pictures. And so uh, last summer, we went for shrimp fishing uh, near Academia Seneca at a local, local place. We also go out for dinner frequently and, and have, have parties. And so this picture here was actually taken at the end of last summer uh, when the two interns from last year uh, were still in the group. So thanks for your interest. and. Again, you can contact me by the email address I presented earlier or the web page. Thank you.